Hey guys, today I am back with another video and we're going to be Hey guys, KFC Mukbang, car edition again. Um, I started to do a video and I got time in, but I realized certain of the things I was just closing on the video, there's some people that work, works where I work that is on this, um, on this, um, viewing page so to keep everything safe I'm just gonna do another video which I'm doing right now but I can tell you this much because this is what happens to me I'm um, Friday night I went to work I had money Friday morning I had um, 40 to 45 dollars in my um, wallet that was in my bag that morning that Friday morning that Friday evening I work at the at my other job then Saturday afternoon I went back to work I didn't buy anything with cash I that afternoon when I went to just look at my change just to see how much I had because within that 40, 40 to 45 dollars it was my offering money and tithes so I was like let me see how much I have left over after I put everything aside now I couldn't find the money I'm like where's the money and I did not buy anything with cash Friday night or Saturday morning it was Saturday afternoon I just wanted to see how much everything was see how much I had left after I took my tithes and offering out the money and see how much change I had left but I couldn't find anything and then I'm like oh my goodness this somebody actually steal my money so I was upset I looked everywhere before I called my supervisor I calmed down as well Not only that, when I called my supervisor, she was like, oh, maybe you dropped it in the, in the house or something. Um, was it in the envelope? And I was like, no. And no, it was in my wallet. Put aside in my wallet, in my bag. If I would drop it, I would drop my wallet and I would have seen it. I did not drop it. I didn't take it out. It was no reason why for me to take that money out at work. It was no reason. And Saturday afternoon, I need to get an order change. And I have to do other things too. So I looked at my wallet because I had money on my card, but I just wanted to make sure cash wise. I had my ties and our friends, and I also had extra cash because I wanted to do something else with the extra cash because I wanted to do laundry, if you must know. Um, like at the end, of, almost like at the end of the weeks of some weeks, I'm kind of tight, so I was gonna try to do like a three dollar wash with the two dollar dryer, or whatever. So I wanted to see how much change I had left after I put the ties and off on the side. I looked, I could not find that money. So I called my supervisor. When I called my supervisor, the way she talked to me at first, was like, maybe I misplaced it, maybe I dropped it. I was like, no, nobody, I ain't not drop it. If I dropped that money, I wouldn't know because it was a 20, three fives, and several dollar bills so but um the, the end of the story is it's just that the way I felt the way I was made to feel like either I misplaced it and I was wrong to tell I don't want to be in the schedule because I, I, I sent a text to my supervisor saying that sorry can you please take me off the schedule didn't want to do this until I get my money back. Sorry. She said yes.
Because you say, yeah, it's going to be okay. But there was an issue. But, um, yeah, that's what happened, guys. So, I had to deal with that today, today, today again. I dealt with it Friday. No, Saturday. I dealt with it Saturday night. Because it was Saturday afternoon, I realized it was gone. And I had to deal with it today. So. But. Don't, guys. Times are hard. I should know. Times are really hard. But never subject. Never. Below yourself by stealing. Even the small things that you think is not gonna make a big deal, don't do it. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Now, since my supervisor. told me that other other people told her to tell me to make it um like report it to police I did now I don't know how how negative that impact may have on a company or on us on myself but I did what I was told so I can't believe somebody stole from me, though. And I don't know who it is. And I would be too embarrassed to know who who it is. Because most people that works there, I'm cordial with. I'm cool with. I'm not friends, buddy, buddy, that just hang out after work. But I'm cool. Like, I talk to them. They talk to me. So, I, I find that too cool. But, I'm just in shock. Sunday, I was a hot mess. I was sweating. I was sweating a lot. I'm gonna eat some corn again. So. But. I wanna focus more on um, YouTube and See what can help me with my channel to grow. I know consistency consistency is key in this line of field. And I'm I'm doing my best. I have some videos I record. I'm like, whoo! It looks mad cringing. Like right now, I know this is gonna look cringing, but half the stuff from summer, right? You guys can't see the food. I'm dipping it in barbecue sauce. And this YouTube is something I wanted to do like for four years now. 
I keep saying that over and over and over again, I know. That's the truth. Me actually doing it. It's just powerful. But, um... I don't know what else it's all about. I don't know. I haven't been getting a lot of views, but it's all right. I'm going to get some more. Some more views. I don't know where they're going to come from. But they're gonna get here. I'm gonna get some views. I'm gonna get some new subscribers. I'm gonna get some new family members. Oh, guys, I can cook. Not only that, I can do hair, I can cook. It's just that. I said the L word, L word, and I also have tongue twisters, so don't. If you hear me stutter or don't pronounce certain things right, you know why. Um, and I forgot what I was gonna say, guys. Um, uh, I I don't okay. I don't remember, but I'm gonna get. No subscribers. I'm gonna get more views. I'm gonna be focused. Right now, I'm vlogging on my phone. And when I got this phone, the main purpose was for me to start vlogging. B vlogging <laughs> vlogging but I didn't do it right right when I got it so um but I'm doing it I am so I'm just learning how to do some editing Um, I could tell you something else. So, after I sold my money, that money I was going to use to get the oil changed, car wash, and vacuum. I ended up going to Tyson and Offering. And, um, I had, like, a little bit on my car to get a vacuum. Now, the guy was looking at my car. The guy was, like, just examining my car, just looking at it. You need a wash. And I was like, I'm sorry. I know you get washed. Oh. Excuse me. I usually get everything car wash, vacuum, tire shine. You're protecting on your window. The whole nine yards. But since it took me money, I couldn't do it. So, you like the car. And the car was really bad because you know how people advertise with flyers, postcards? So someone stuck it on the window. That's what I was going to say. I'm going to say the L word. I was lazy to, 
to take the thing off. It's that bad sometimes. I was lazy. It goes what happened. The thing got stuck on the glass. And um it had like paper particles on the side. It was gross. It was it was disgusting. So the guy was like, oh. He took the card. He understand. And he took the card. He comes back. He was like, I'm gonna give you a free car wash. Guys. When he said, I'm going to give you a free car wash, I'm like, what? I was like, thank you so much. I thank God for that because only God can soften someone's heart and give you something free like that. And I didn't even ask it. I didn't even ask for it. I knew I needed it. God already knows. It looks bad. And I'm like, I got a free car wash. I was hooked up yesterday. And I was so happy. I was so happy. I was so happy. I know it's something minor. Oh, what a big deal. Car wash. Guys. People. Ooh, I just dropped a piece of meat. I need to pick it up. People are understanding sometimes. But most of the times. It's hard. To find someone that's willing to do something like that without action. So me coming across that person at that specific time to offer me a free car wash after I got my car vacuum. Now my car may look a hot mess, but some people be like, "Okay, you got a vacuum, bye." He was like, "I got you. I'm gonna wash your car." For free. I was hype. I was hype. Ecstatic. I'm like, what? So, this, the weekend ended on a good note for me. Started bad. But it ended well. So guys. Um. I'm going to finish this chicken. But I'm starting to get full. They owe me a cookie. But I'm not going to go get it. Because. I'm full. Whoever watched my video to the end, ask me questions. What you want me to talk about? And um, share my video with your family, with your friends. I really appreciate that. I got three new subscribers. Don't know where y'all came from, but what's up? I look a hot mess. I know. I just came from work. So. I'm sorry. And it's hot. Guys, I got a couple pieces of chicken left, but I'm full. And I have to clean because a piece of chicken fell. 
I'll have to pick it up. <laughs> Nothing in the room. You know when you pick out your food, you're looking at your food, examining your food, you know you, you examining your food, you know you're starting to get full. Okay. I think I ate pretty good. So I have a right to be full. You see that car right there? See that car? There's a bunch of them lined up. I know they see in my car talking, but who curls is a mukbang car edition. Duh. People driving, but um, woo! I'm full. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Thank you. And guess what, guys? I have a court date tomorrow. I have to go to court. I need to pray about this. No, it's a good thing I'll change my fasting day. But, um, I have a court tomorrow. Um, the reason why I have to go to court tomorrow is because I pleaded not guilty. Um, the reason why I pleaded not guilty is because one day I was rushing to work. I was on the highway. Um, how would you say this? At the end of the highway, there's a there's a stop light. Um, when I say it's a traffic light, it says traffic light. It's green, yellow, red. But before you get to the traffic light, there is a speed limit sign. It's 40. Now, that morning, I was trying to get to work. I was rushing, rushing from my job on the highway. But I seen a lot of cops on the side. like part, Because where the traffic light is, is like a big, big open field. And, the, and it's not a part of the... It is a part of the highway, but... That's not where the concrete is. It's actually a f grass on the field. And I seen the car, a regular car. Seemed like the cops stopped that person. And um, I see other cops there. So I see one cop behind that car, and there was other cops on the field too. So I slow down. I slow down. So I know. Maybe I was going like 45 or 50, but I slowed down because anybody will slow down if they see if they're if they see law enforcement. Anybody. So I slowed down, and when I got close to the traffic light, I just see the cop car just pulled, and then I went to the side. And guess who went to the side behind me? The other cop car. And I'm like. Oh my goodness, what did I do? And all these thoughts go through my mind like, did I pay for this? Did I do this? Did I do that? What can I possibly done? He said I was going 70. I was not going 70. Like, I wasn't. So, he gave me a ticket. And I never paid. For, like, I never paid for it. I waited until like you know at the last minute to do something about it then um, they like to give you warrants if you don't pay for certain tickets and speed tickets they don't play well the state I live in they don't play so I got a warrant when I got that warrant I went I spoke to them when I spoke to them I had two options I had three options either pay for it in full 
plead guilty and pay it for it full. Um, go on a payment plan. And I don't know if it's for me to plead not guilty, see the judge, and and be on a payment plan. But one or the other, I had um, pay for in full, plead guilty, plead not guilty, and then go on a payment plan. So I chose to plead not guilty. Because, hey, you never know. You, you never know when or how someone could be like, okay, let's really think about this. Because when it comes to law enforcement, most of the time is there where is they, um, whoo, my tongue twisters are acting on a full hundred now. Um, when it comes to law enforcement is either they take your word and try to see where you're coming from and see where it could be um, over exaggerated from the cops end or is the cops word and nothing else and even though the sign was red they say it's black and it's black so me just saying that um, not that I'm trying to push the limit trying to push my buttons or trying to get myself in trouble it's just that I know for a fact I wasn't going 70 uh, the ticket said I was aggressive driving and I know I wasn't aggressive driving I knew I was speeding but soon as I seen the cops I slowed down I slowed down I drive a little further and I see the cop pull out and when he pulled out and I went to the side because usually when you hear sirens you see a cop you see an ambulance a fire truck anything that has to do with emergency people you pull to the side but I didn't know the guy was gonna pull me over so when he pulled me over he told me that I was going fast so I really strongly believe that I was I was going fast but when I seen them and I didn't even pass the, the police. I did not pass the police. So the meter didn't even read my car, my speed limit. So I'm trying to figure out when and how did, did I go that fast for you to be like, eh, right behind me, like literally. So me by saying that, now you see where I, now you could understand where I say like, there is a possible chance that they can see where I'm coming from for them be like, you know what, maybe this is, you know, maybe the whole aggressive driving is exaggerating, so maybe she didn't really go to, um, she didn't really go at 70, maybe she was going maybe 50 or something, I think that's still bad, but that's 10, yeah, that's still bad, but I really don't believe that I was going 70 in that small little space, because it was, you could get in a car accident, the traffic like is right there and if it turns red you're going 70 you're going to hit somebody or you're going to get hit one or the other so that's why I said like there is a possibility that they could see my um my viewpoint they could you know you know how they bring the board and they have all these signs and whatever maybe there is a possibility but most of the time as we all know it's either, um, look at my hair, guys. Woo! Y'all see me rough, but guess what? If you want to get to know a person, you need to go, you need to know the good and the bad. And today, I'm having a rough day, or a rough end of the day. I did brush it, but whatever. But, um, excuse me, um, Hopefully they're able to see my side and see that the law, like the officer was just exaggerating. I wasn't, at the moment, at that time when he pulled me over, before he pulled me over, I was not aggressive driving. Maybe come from my house on the highway, you know, five minutes on the highway, I was aggressive driving because I was running late to work. So I have a court date, that, was, that happened like three months ago. So I have a court date tomorrow because I pleaded not guilty and 
I hope that um, they dropped the case. I really hope they, they dropped the case. I'm just swing, swing out my mouth. Sorry, guys. Lately, I've been very, um, as, as, like, how would you say this? Obsessive? Wait. Is that the right word? I can't think clearly right now. I've been like very um, consistent in flossing. Like, I don't know, I, I've been wanting to floss all the time. I don't know. I actually have it in my little pouch. I have a flossing pack in there where I floss, but um, this is 30 minutes long. Oh. But, um, yeah, so I have a quick day tomorrow. I'll let you know. i let you guys know what goes on tomorrow or whenever I record again. Let's not say that. I'll let you, I'll, I keep you guys informed. I keep you in tune. I'll let you know what's going on with me in the court date. Because at the end of the day, yeah, I don't want a sister to pay a big fine. Because the sister is broke for a moment. Is broke. I need to get oil changed, so whatever extra money I have. And I have to go to Congress. Whew. Jesus. I need to go to Congress. So I need that extra moolah. So. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy my video. I hope you like the chit chat talk that I have with you guys. I get so excited when I am actually recording because I know. I'm doing something that I enjoy, and um, I'm actually saying that I want to do this. I love to do this, and actually doing it, you know. So, yeah. You guys, whenever you watch this video, morning, afternoon, evening, have a good day. Love you. Stay breezy. <laughs>